What up and welcome to Rama Screen YouTube channel and here's my review of Netflix new documentary miniseries The Playing Card Killer. Let's rock this. Ah yes, another Netflix true crime documentary and this one comes all the way from Spain and this year marks the 20th anniversary of this horrific series of tragedy. Now, think of The Playing Card Killer as like their version of the Zodiac Killer, but with a more unpredictable modus operandi and a more chilling signature sign. I mean, leaving those cards at the scene, that's like some super villain shit, man. Clearly the work of a sociopath who takes pride in what he's doing and wants the world to know that it's him doing the deed. This is yet another disturbing, unsettling, creepy documentary with ominous music, of course, that will occupy the heads of those of us who are obsessed with such crime investigative thrillers. And it also opens a window for us outsiders into the inner workings of the law enforcement and the journalists in Spain as they try to connect the dots and put the pieces together in the hopes of capturing that monster. In The Playing Card Killer, he chose his victims randomly and shot them with a pistol he illegally brought to Spain. With a playing card left at the murder scene that connects a string of killings in this docu-series tracking a notorious serial killer who terrorized Spain in the year 2003. There are a total of three parts. The first part shows a couple of the killings, and then you'll see more from the other murders in the subsequent parts. The reenactments of those shootings, ugh, you will not be able to easily shake that imagery off. It'll stay with you after the docu ends. The reenactments did a pretty good job of placing us, the audiences, at the scene moments before, during, and after. It's as if we are the third invisible person in the room watching it all unfold. Very dark, very haunting, very eerie. Some of the talking heads are eyewitnesses and survivors. This is the part where your heart just breaks for them. Listening to them reliving that pain all over again because their world has been devastated and there's no coming back from that. The criminal profiling that's happening on this docu is quite intense because as they try to figure out his motive and his personality, you don't quite know for sure which theories are valid and which theories are exaggerated. Until, of course, later on when all the facts come to light. I'm always fascinated watching docus like this, especially in part three, because every country has its own distinct court proceedings. I mean, on principle, we all share the same lady justice, but there's different ways of doing things inside the courtroom. And you'll see how that plays out in Spain on this docu. So yeah, overall, I give The Playing Card Killer the rating of 4 out of 5. This docu pretty much sells itself. But for my fellow viewers in America, I know that there's a natural, irresistible instinct to just go to Wikipedia and spoil the ending and find out who the guy is. But I implore you, I urge you to not do that. And please just let this docu unravel its mysteries for you. Trust me, it's a lot more intriguing that way. So that's it. That's my review of The Playing Card Killer. Smash that like button. Share this video with everyone you know. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's rock this.